Hello, I'm going to show you how to run ANOVA on SPSS. For this exercise, please download the data from the link as shown on the video. This data is the same data that we used earlier. This data is a study on factors affecting SGA. SGA is small for gestational age. Small for gestational age is defined as weight of less than 2.7 kg for term babies. For our data set, uh, the, those classified as normal has a weight larger than 2.7 kg. Those who are classified as SGA has a weight of less than 2.6 kg. For this exercise, the objective of this, this exercise is to conduct the appropriate statistical test to test whether there is any association between classification of weight, which is defined as obese class, and birth weight. So the question that we have to answer here first is what test we want to use. Let us look at the variables that we are going to analyze. As a uh, obese class is a proxy for mother's nutrition, it is defined as underweight, normal, and overweight. For the outcome, sorry, for the birth weight, uh, it is the weight itself, the weight of the babies, as measured in kilogram. Okay. Okay. So the birth weight, since it is in kilogram, it is uh, continuous data. Body mass index, since it is classified into underweight, normal weight, and overweight, it is categorical data. So what we are doing, we are comparing the mean of the baby's birth weight between underweight, normal, and overweight mothers. If the birth weight is normally distributed, the most suitable test would be ANOVA. ANOVA is short for analysis of variance. If we run the data, looking at the, the distribution of the data according to the group of underweight, normal weight and overweight we can clearly see that those who are underweight has a lower birth weight compared to those who are of normal weight and those who are, those who are of normal weight has a clearly lower uh, birth weight compared to those mothers who are overweight so let's try the, to run the analysis on SPSS okay. to run an, uh, one way ANOVA you click analyze compare means one way ANOVA to run the analysis first we take the dependent which is uh, in this case is the birth weight of the child so let's look for the birth weight here is the birth weight Then we have the factor. The factor is the classification of weight of the mother. Okay. So click on options, select descriptive, homogeneity of variance test, means plot. Continue. Then we click on post hoc. Click just for post hoc you can click at the bone frony, a tuki or LSD. Uh, just for the sake of discussion. The first part here on the top here you have to use if the variances are equal. If the variances are not equal, then you have to use the one below. You have Tem Hams, Dunnets, Games Howell, Dun and so on and so forth. Okay? So which one you want to use, it doesn't matter. So how do we know whether the variances are equal or not? The one we have to look at the homogeneity of uh, variance test. Okay. So Let's click both Bonfroni and Temhen. Click OK. Okay, just. Okay, so now we have the, 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 the results. We have the, the descriptive results. We have the test of homogeneity. So you can see here, uh, it is, it is, uh, the test of homogeneity uh, is significant. Here we have the ANOVA. The ANOVA is also significant. Okay. To make discussion easier, 
we need to make this question easier I'm going to shift copy and paste the whole results into uh, the PowerPoint okay so here we have the first part of the result which is the descriptives you can see clearly that uh, the mean birth weight is different between the three groups mothers who are underweight the mean weight is 2.4 kg mothers who are normal the mean birth weight of the babies is 2.7 kg and for mothers that are overweight the mean birth weight of their babies is 3.1 kg so there is a clear difference there looking at the results of the test of homogeneity of variance test okay. for test of homogeneity of variances the test is significant see the p-value is 0 0.001 0 0.001 is less than 0 0.05 so the variances are unequal therefore for post hoc if you are if you have selected the bone frony you cannot use the bone frony procedure because it assumes equal variances okay if you insist, still insist on using the bone frony uh, procedure it is you can use that here because uh, the for our data set it is quite large okay but you have to interpret it with care. Looking at ANOVA, the F value is 26.371, the P value is 0 0.000000000001, and this is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, there is a significant difference of the means of the birth weight of the child within the three groups of mothers, okay, and since the P value is less than 0 0.05. Okay, so since we have significant difference of means the question is it is between which and which group is it between underweight and normal weight normal weight and overweight or underweight and overweight so for that we have to do the post hoc test when we do the post hoc test uh, please take note uh, the best is to use time hence results uh, for this uh, here we have the bone for knee what uh, you can see later that time hence is also the same result as uh, Bofroni. You can see clearly that uh, the birth weight of babies born to underweight mothers, underweight mothers, are significantly lower than, uh, than babies born to normal and overweight mothers. So we have normal and overweight mothers here. You can see the p-value is significant. So we will have one more, which has not yet been compared, which is the normal weight against overweight. So the normal weight gives of weight here, the p-value is also significant. So the birth weight of babies born to normal mothers are significantly lower than babies born to overweight mothers. So in conclusion, babies born to underweight mothers has a significantly lower birth weight of 2.4 kg compared to babies of normal mothers who uh, have weight of 2.7 kg and overweight mothers whose babies are around 3.1 kg. Babies of normal mothers has a significantly lower birth weight. Their weight is 2.7 kg. Compared to babies of overweight mothers, their baby's weight is around 3.1 kg. So the difference is statistically significant since the p-value is smaller than 0 0.05. So again, big mothers get big babies. So here we can repeat the same statistical test. You can do it between the type of work and the birth weight of the babies.